We're here at the Ohio Historical Center in Columbus, Ohio. This is an exhibit on the War of 1812. Uh, it's called uh, Ohio on the Front Line. We're celebrating the bicentennial of the War of 1812, and we wanted to focus on Ohio's involvement in that war. And it's rather significant in the sense that, uh, at least for Ohioans, that several of the major battles of that war happened here on Ohio soil. The War of 1812, uh, the United States declared war against Great Britain. Some of the causes that led to the war were uh, kidnapping American uh, sailors and coercing them to uh, fight for the uh, British Navy. Also, uh, the British were supplying several Native American tribes and inducing them to cause conflicts on the frontier. Uh, also, Americans um, looked up to Canada as a potential areas where they could settle. So there was also that aspect that they uh, coveted the British territories in what is now Canada. So many of the major battles that were very significant in the war happened here in Ohio. In particular, the uh, two sieges at Fort Meigs and the Battle of Lake Erie. Fort Meigs is on along the Maumee River. It's uh, just uh, upstream from Toledo, so it's in the northwestern part of Ohio. And after the fall of Detroit, which happened uh, very early on in the War of 1812, it was one of the uh, important redoubts to defend uh, the Northwest Territories. So a British army under uh, General Proctor uh, with Indian allies came and besieged the fort, and they were successfully able to resist that siege, and so that the British had to withdraw back to Detroit. And uh, there was a second, uh, shorter siege that wasn't as significant a few months later. But then with the victory at the Battle of Lake Erie near Putten Bay, Ohio, um, the British lost control of Lake Erie. And that enabled General Harrison, who was in command at Fort Meigs, to cross the river and to chase the British, reclaim Detroit, and push the, the British and their Indian allies uh, back into what is at that time called Upper Canada, today it's called Ontario. And at a, the Battle of the Thames defeated uh, combined um, British and Indian force, and that's where Tecumseh was killed. And uh, because of that significant victory, the Northwest Territories was secured, and pretty much after that, uh, that particular theater of the war ended. And uh, there was still a lot of uh, conflict to go on the East Coast, and then it ended with the Battle of New Orleans. But the United States was able to successfully defend itself and push the uh, British back. In general, probably most of the settlers of Ohio, given that they're Westerners, probably would have been in favor of the War of 1812. But one of our significant leaders, the man we call the father of Ohio statehood, uh, Thomas Worthington, he served in the United States Senate at the time. And uh, when it came up to vote, whether to vote for war or not, to declare war against Great Britain, he opposed it. Uh, and the reason for it was that we were completely unprepared. And uh, our military was very weak. Uh, we didn't have the supplies or the arms in order to create an army, and he feared that it would be disastrous for the United States. And he proved to be quite correct in the early years of the war. Uh, there were su su a succession of defeats uh, on the American side. Uh, there were some bright spots out at sea with individual combats of individual ships, but on land it was quite disastrous for the United States. Uh, some people describe the War of 1812 as the Second War of Independence. It was that we not only were able to resist, once again, a British attack, and uh, it gave a lot of esprit de corps, a lot of nationalistic pride, uh, the individual battles that were fought and created some great uh, heroes like Andrew Jackson and William Henry Harrison, who later on would be elected President of the United States. When we think of Old Glory, you know, the flag that flew at Fort McHenry in, uh, as a symbol of American defiance. Also, our national anthem is a part of that you know, siege of uh, Fort McHenry. So in that regards, even if they don't re recognize that it comes from the War of 1812, um, it does play an important part of uh, American history.